I'm Tom Whitcomb, I'm 29 from Sydney. Uh, I'm here to take part in the Raw National Final, which is something I wanted to do for the last two times I entered and didn't get here. I'm a competitive guy, which is not a great thing for comedy. Everyone wins differently in any given day, but yeah, I hope I'm with a chance, we'll see. I'm a little nervous now. Uh, I've been lucky enough, I've done a couple of big-ish gigs, not this big, but hundreds, not tens of people in the past, so it doesn't feel too much different. just kind of want to get started. I know I'll be nervous beforehand, but as soon as I say the first words on stage, I think the rest comes pretty naturally. Now, he's a market researcher from Sydney who once wanted to be a postman. Please put your hands together for Tom Whitcomb. Good evening, you guys. How you doing? You doing well? Fantastic. I'm feeling great myself. Lost, lost a bit of weight recently. Start of the year, my girlfriend said, Tom, is that a beer belly? I decided then and there, this is the year I am finally getting rid of my girlfriend. <laughs> and I did. Uh, I, I lost 64 kilos <laughs> in one text message. What a day. She hates that joke. Uh, partially because we are still together. <laughs> Predominantly because the first time she heard it, I used her actual weight. <laughs> I do not do that anymore. 64 kilos is not what my girlfriend weighs, all right? 64 kilos is just a totally random lower number. <laughs> Things are going great with my girlfriend, we moved out recently, out of the share house. No privacy at my last share house, you know, the living room was right next to my housemate's bedroom. So every time he had sex, I could barely hear the TV. <laughs> That's how low I'd turn the volume. <laughs> We live in a very trendy Sydney suburb, next door to a pretty cool lesbian couple. One of them's six foot tall, she works at Bunnings. She is quite butch. Her partner, four foot tall, works in a meat market. She's a little butcher. <laughs> I agree, that's fantastic. That's... <laughs> First serious relationship I've been in, I was always a late bloomer. Didn't lose my virginity until my early 20s, for religious reasons. Meanwhile, my best friend lost his virginity when he was like 13. Also, religious reasons. Uh, <laughs> few Catholics in tonight, good to see. Fantastic. <laughs> I like being in a relationship, but it is different, you know, things change. Sex is very different in a relationship, you know. <clears throat> when I was single, sex, sex was like Olympic gymnastics. Once every four years with, <laughs> with a small Chinese girl. Uh, <laughs> love the Olympics, huge fan. Favorite event, 100 meter men's sprinting final, where we find out who is the world's fastest man. Second favorite event, 100 meter men's sprinting heats, where we find out who is the world's fastest white guy. <laughs> oh, the white sprinter, the most delusional of athletes. <laughs> Why you would choose one of the few career paths in the world where being a white man is a disadvantage. <laughs> is beyond me, you know. In the history of the 100 meter sprint, 145 men have broken the 10 second barrier. One of them was white. 144 black dudes and one white guy. That's like the hip hop hall of fame. <laughs> but why are we so bad at sprinting? White privilege, isn't it? It's 
white privilege. It's just the end result of 10,000 years of nothing to run from. <laughs> That's why we're bad at sprinting. It's why we're bad at marathons. We're so bad at marathons, we rebranded them to fun runs. <laughs> Before I go, I do want to say that whole last bit, uh, I only talked about men's athletics, men's sprinting. It's 2021. I, I should be better than that, right? We've all moved on. Guys, women's racing. Women's racing is every bit as exciting as men's racing, you know? Plus, you get to enjoy it for longer. few unimpressed faces in response to that joke uh, from one of the genders, I won't say which. Uh, I'm sorry, that's actually my fault. I should have warned you at the start of my set. Uh, some of these jokes do contain facts. So, <laughs> guys, I've been Tom Whitcomb. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Tom Whitcomb, everyone! Great, really great. Uh, it was everything I wanted it to be and more. Loved it, loved it. I got that afterglow feeling now.